Alright, hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, the Against the Hive campaign. This is an aftermath recording. The tower mission actually was uh, much more interesting than anticipated and took longer than anticipated, so I figured I'll make it a different uh, video. Enjoy and let's jump right into the action. All right, so as a little bonus, because I don't want to make it a separate episode, we're going in to Operation Wolf Shield, that is the network tower. Um, I will play it safe and uh, bring our uh, bring our uh, trusted Reaper with us. Hayward, uh, Andrew Sanders and Frodo will be on the mission as well. I paid uh, the extra intel to get an extra soldier, extra dodge and concealment, which should be just what we need in order to get the job done. So let's see how well this is going to turn out. After the rather disappointing missions beforehand, this is hopefully going to be better. All right. Let's go. I'm not sure. I think I'm not mistaken that I had uh, the revamp uh, patch for Gold Path missions, which also would mean that uh, the that the Reaper actually is being spotted out. Just realized that. So, no sneaky sneaky. Well, there is still a bit of limited sneaky sneaky, but uh, the concealment is being treated as normal concealment and not as a Reaper concealment. Oh, not good. Now we want to be over here. Okay, let's see what the pack is going to do. Okay. We should be fine. They have moved back, right? Oh, oh! Remote, uh, a remote start uh, possibility. I like it. Substantial amounts of damage. Question is, will we be spotted out? Potentially not. Typically, uh, well, I shouldn't say anything. With uh, increased vigilance, might look very, very different. Okay, well, not the best positioning ever, but okay. Yeah, this is straight up AI cheating, because they want to uh, reveal us. Surprise! Yeah. You can run and give everybody a shield. Well, that is convenient, isn't it? Okay, fail safe. We want to hack. I trigger a second pack with that.
Okay, we got the anti-heavy mech, anti-riot mech. Nice, very good. Okay, well, well, well. I would love to just uh, stun this guy. Okay, just manifest what you want to do and things are going to be fine. Shield removed, fall damage, there you go. Very well. Don't like uh, that. Um, I think what we're going to do is reposition and that's going to be a kill we could do here is actually blinding protocol him but also hit but we wouldn't be able to kill him but with a blinding protocol he will have problems hitting anything disorientation is nasty for sector soldiers because they only have the uh, their gun to begin with these XCOM moments everything was going fine until you guys fucked it up just disappear in the shadows I guess kill one of those mutants and call it a day okay we're going to follow that logic in a second Let's do this. potential mimic beacon play this round We'll see about it. Alright, Haywire definitely needs some healing. Oh, 
that's not a bad uh, remote start. Moves out, and I think what we are going to do is we're actually going to hit all of these guys with a massive flashbang. Yep, that's good. Sounds like a plan. Good idea to just go back into the shadows and then remote start and free up a line of sight to the Andromedon and to many 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 other enemies. should have moved first did not remember that uh, we did not have a second shot well in which case teamwork might be the right thing to do here Frodo definitely want to get uh, this guy away because we don't want uh, anyone in our back be a kill unless it's a crit and max damage which I'm willing to take the chance never mind all right just lost cover Much shredding? Not sure. Uh, we're almost fully shredded, I, I fear. A sniper would be perfect. Beacon could be the right play here. Oh, we did not give uh, Ender Sanders a proper assault rifle. He's just run, uh, running uh, with a normal one. Mm. Oh, that is stupid. Full kill. This looks interesting. And there is a good chance that we can keep him stunned. At which point we don't need to do anything with him. But for now. Heavy ride, Mac. No. 
Yep, let's get the sharpshooter. Nope. Using the time for reload, and the sharpshooter definitely oh, needs to go. take some damage. Okay, these guys are too far away. I can only hit the Mac. Andromedon might be a bit nasty. Gotta be careful here. here I come. Withdrawing Haywire into a better position. Yeah, I didn't get it. Oh, Face good. off, okay. I'm under fire. They might take down the mech. Okay, happens. Double move with the Valkyrie. substantially decrease uh, their hit point pool. Protocol. Good to go. Unfortunately, he dodged. We're overwatching and this is a perfect time for Mimic Beacon play. Gotta use them as long as you have them. Specifically if the Andromedon can crit. Ooh, misses. Okay, cool. I like it. like what I'm seeing. again. Mutant needs to die. Thanks to Silent Killer, nothing happens. We're continuing to stun this guy by now. He's well accustomed to being stunned. Suppression. That 
should be two shots against the Andromedon shell. Yeah, of course. can do the blocking of the ladder trick. Roger that. Let's move already. Good. Reloading. Reloading. Overwatch. Overwatch. I want to get the shell and use it as a as a soldier for us. Good, next turn. We're just going to do it. Oh. Unnecessary. That wasted two turns. Uh, two of our charges here. Stupid. Don't move, you'll be all right. We've just restunted. Uh, don't play greedy, Saiken. Good. Let's get this guy. Of course. Fate would have it, but we're not even going to get it. There's another entrance up here and up there. Okay. Can't keep him at uh, bay for a long period of time. It's just not going to work. Reload Overwatch and we're good. Very unfortunate. The game is just trolling me at this point. Okay. If you have nothing else to say, then just say okay. XCOM's cruel way of telling you that it doesn't want you to win this campaign. Good. Reload whenever possible. 
waiting until that stupid asset is gone. Good. And we're beginning to move in. Unfortunately for us, we have successfully destroyed every single bit of cover. And high ground isn't available either. Great job, Saiken. So this whole thing here doesn't even have cover. Only two spots are there. Good. We're moving over here. If that doesn't trigger, nothing does. anywhere. I had to do it but I think we're just going to stay in the open. Not enough movement. Spectre Prime and Spectre and a couple of Guardians plus a Trooper. I don't want to push into a fully fortified position, but we have lost our high ground, so it's not like we're having a lot of options here. wouldn't be too bad. I think we're going to go with the flow here. Lining protocol on three of them. Back into full cover. Hitting the trooper, or not hitting the trooper. But we do have a good suppression going here. cover overwatch and I would like to take full cover over here which is an interesting one because it's too far away to be shot from there but good enough for a good overwatch I think reflexes yep that's the guy that we need in order to kill the Spectre. Okay, well luckily we still... Luckily we still do have Banish available. So that's the perfect situation to go for Banish. We're in full cover here on the other side. Let's go, baby. And K. 
kill. Barely enough. A protocol on the Frodo. Who's going to stay here? Okay. Ready to engage. Half cover. I'm sure I can make it. Didn't help us though. We're still getting heavily targeted. Okay, we can't continue to stay here. Problem is this guy on the other side. Might take an overboard shot, but we gotta take that risk. Alright, close one. into our last med kit into overwatch Listen, I think it's even better to just take shots. Getting that spectre down. Likely shadow bound. Yep, I figured. But it's down to six hit points, which means a single shot would kill it. Okay, that's a stupid position. is kind of holding a position by himself. Very respectable. That's a two for one. And we're seeing the elite trooper um, to move up. Frodo's overwatching. Um, 
I mean, these two were alone, right? So we could push forward and try to stun him. Still got a protocol as a backup. Three hits on the trooper would also kill him. What's over there? 50 50. I tell you what, the stun is better if both of them are 50 50. Might as well do the stun. That is not good. Shield gone. And I can get him into leather range. Good. The overwatch of um, Frodo could actually kill him. to use all of our movement to basically take these three guys out single shot we're good Purifier is not a threat at this moment. Somehow need to get rid of uh, the cover there. <sighs> Trooper needs to die. That's a high priority be flanked from here, not in range on the other hand. Seven points, seven hit points. Get that trooper. Okay, good job. Let's focus on this guy. It didn't work out, which is okay. Still have suppression. If you say so. Go for the purifier. Purifier is almost down. That's a straight up kill. Okay. shredding we were looking for yeah I'm continuing to suppress plus 
plus blinding protocol. That way he has not a lot of choice. Get it together. Unfortunately he's difficult to hit as well. Moving into full cover because we can't really flank him. Okay, doesn't matter. Wow, this is much harder than I anticipated. I might actually make a separate video out of this. It's already a 50 minute mission. Camera is stuck. I need to um, unstuck that. Um, yeah, sometimes with the mods, the ca uh, camera just gets stuck. I can't really move it anymore. Fun fact we can still open and close the door. Yeah, I need to unstuck it. Good, so finally the camera is unstuck. We still got a an enemy somewhere up there. So let's trigger the overwatch. <sighs> and it starts freezing again. Can only tell you, uh, mods great, but really carefully think about if you want to mod the Golden Path missions. They are simply not designed to deal with so many enemies and so much drama. Okay, interestingly enough, uh, they might have left. Hmm, okay, wait a second. Move up, move up, and move up. So, uh, there's a bit of information included in this guy no longer being there for starters we know there is another pack and secondarily we know he has moved to that pack so now given our situation I much rather want to fight on the left hand side than on the right hand side so although it sounds a bit counterintuitive but we're actually going to change sides here I think we're out of medkit charges so there is no more healing it's basically just us against them Everybody's just jumping through the windows. I'll be there soon. Good. Some solid high ground means we will hit better. Got here. And there is some movement somewhere. Okay, from here on we're going to be a bit more careful again. Off cover. Nothing. Very good. Okay, that also refreshes our cooldowns of the protocols of Haywire, slowly but surely. Good, we're moving down with Haunt, who has just found himself a tower. Well, that is interesting, isn't it? 
because that super heavy turret could help us to actually win the mission. Give me that. Well, not good. It now supercharges. But I don't want to give up on the idea of having a tower. So we're going to go back. to be in range of the tower and we're just going to overwatch for now one two three four need to get uh, haywire protocol back because we can retry to hack it that's exactly what we're going to do. All right, photo moves up. Spots out the turret. We're retrying. Give that to me. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh no, I get another buff. Well, maybe we can ultra charge it. I don't know if supercharge stacks, but it would be cool if it would. Well, now the turret overwatches. How do we break the overwatch? Ender says the most hit points. Yep, it can't overwatch us from there. Perfect. Let's give that to me, please. Thank you. been much easier if you had done that way before we need to go through all of that trouble all right that's where the last pack is at moving up moving up Moving up. Okay, move up, which is a common theme nowadays. Theoretically, get all the way to here. The next turn hack might be not the worst idea, actually. Knowing X comment the enemies, they might 
actually move towards us just to spot us out. Ooh, okay. Okay, and that should be it. Fabulous. Guys, that was a hard mission. Way harder than I would have anticipated. Very good. Very good. Dum 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 dum. We got a promotion out of it. Frodo finally got light him up. Cool. Would have been good during the actual mission. All of this is not relevant. Because now this is it, Commander. we're going to go to the This Is It mission, Operation Leviathan. Oh boy, let's revisit what the actual enemies are. 56, so that means 70 to 80 enemies. Um, yeah, pretty much everything. Let's take a look what our team is going to look like. Good, make all armor available, make all weapons available, and make literally everything available. I like the idea of the stun weapon, that is good. I would love to get a bit more healing with us, because it just so turns out that healing was always one of our biggest problems. Hazmas vests, uh, mm, however, will help against acid, fire and so on. And Taurus needs to stay uh, safe. Alright, Lyrical. Uh, most certainly not a plasma grenade uh, here. We're instead going with... Uh, mm, do I want a ghost grenade? I think it's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. Can be a lifesaver. And a bit more armor wouldn't be bad either. So yeah, let's try that. Hawk bite. It's uh, very straightforward. Mind shield. And he's already immune against all of it, so stasis vest for extra healing. Which, by the way, isn't bad. It's uh, actually creating quite a bit of uh, healing. Okay, one Mimic Beacon. That's a utility item. Blue screen rounds on top of it, which is good. And some self-healing. Would have loved to get more breakthroughs uh, for extra attachments, but we gotta run with what we have. Hunter's X, yep, that's pretty much all we get. Namri. We're going to use one frost bomb, two plasma grenades. Out of interest, do we have another better scope? No. Okay. So Kruger, definitely blue screen rounds, definitely has mess vest. I wish we could uh, take cannons, but <clears throat> the assault rifles are better at the moment. 
with uh, the upgrades that we've gotten. Which is also fun, I mean, when are you seeing so many assault rifles? Uh, and it fits the whole style of uh, the campaign even better. So, no crazy other grenade. It's a question, do we maybe want a hazmat vest here? Potentially. Or let's do it this way, data vest here, hazmat vest here. Did we forget anything? No. Got the three important items from the alien rulers, which is uh, the frost bomb. We got uh, the um, hunters, uh, the axes, and we got the shadow keepers. So all three are good. It's pretty much as good as it gets. So, ladies and gentlemen. In the next uh, episode, we are off to Waterworld, and even if it is not going to be successful, I wanted to say thank you for the viewership and for accompanying me through that rather interesting campaign. Wouldn't have guessed that we make it all the way to Waterworld, but as always, uh, if you don't test the limits in XCOM, you never know where they really are. So. This campaign definitely specifically towards the end had been a bit of a bummer because the normal missions are widely unwinnable. Um, the alien rulers are just too crazy. Um, and the spawn mechanic of the hive is also too crazy. Maybe if we would have found kind of a way to get rid of uh, the alien queen, that would have also made the spawn mechanics a bit better. But yeah, that is could have, should have, uh, would have. Uh, no no need to really think about that. We're now going into the last mission that's happening uh, in two days. As always, it's going to be a two-parter, but maybe, just maybe, we're already going to lose the first part of uh, the mission. Uh, who knows? Um, so it's one to two more missions. Now is a good time to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think the last mission is going to entail. Are we going to be successful? Are we going to get our asses kicked? Oops. Or are we um, going to do uh, good, but not good enough? Let me know what the opinion is and see you in two days. Take care guys, bye bye.